Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Welcome back to Remote Rewind, where today we delve into the wild and outrageous world of reality TV shows that left us all wondering how they ever made it to air. Reality television has long been our escape from the mundane, offering everything from fierce competitions to heart-wrenching drama. But some shows have pushed the boundaries of what we deem acceptable, leaving both viewers and critics scratching their heads. Take Chains of Love, for instance. Launched in 2001, this controversial dating show had a premise that seemed almost too bizarre to comprehend. Before The Bachelor took the limelight, Contestants found themselves literally chained together with a picker for days on end, forced to navigate their relationships under the most ridiculous circumstances. Imagine trying to ice skate while shackled to four people. Yes, that's exactly what viewers witnessed before the show was swiftly canceled after just six episodes. Then there's Playing It Straight, which aired for a brief stint in 2004. With a premise so flawed it bordered on offensive. The show attempted to blend romance with a shocking twist. Half of its male contestants were straight, while the other half identified as gay. Viewers quickly lost interest, leading to its abrupt cancellation after just three episodes. The show's combination of awkward stereotypes and tedious drama left critics like Dana Stevens from Slate shaking their heads in disbelief, citing it as colossally boring and ideologically offensive. Moving on to my big, fat, obnoxious boss, which sought to parody Donald Trump's The Apprentice. The twist? The entire operation was a hoax, complete with ridiculous challenges and a surprise reveal that the mysterious boss was actually a chimpanzee. This absurdity may have entertained some, but it definitely raised plenty of eyebrows. And who could forget Best Funeral Ever? This 2013 TLC series featured a funeral home that was more concerned with throwing outrageous themed parties than honoring the deceased in a respectful manner. Disco-themed send-offs and funerals held in wrestling rings raised questions. How far would we go for a laugh, even at such a sensitive time? Lifetimes born in the wild shocked audiences with its premise of couples opting for unassisted outdoor childbirth, raising alarm bells among medical experts about the potential dangers involved. The show, which aired just once, sparked intense debate about the responsibility of reality TV in portraying safe and responsible practices. The appearance-driven shows like The Swan and Under Are You Hot never stood a chance in today's more socially conscious climate. Both glamorized cosmetic procedures and superficial judgments based on physical appearance, leading them to face cancellations amidst public outcry. And lastly, Who's Your Daddy took the cake for sheer insensitivity, turning the emotional reunion between a person and their biological father into a competitive game show. While T.J. Myers successfully identified her real father, the negative reaction from adoption agencies highlighted the ethical issues surrounding such formats. As we look back on these misguided attempts at entertainment, it's clear that not every reality show has aged gracefully. Some questions remain. Are there limits that networks should consider in pursuit of ratings? And will we ever truly learn from these questionable choices? Thanks for tuning in to Remote Rewind. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more deep dives into the world of reality TV gone wrong.